Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. This is a really fun video for me because I have not read this question, so I will do my best to answer it. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up the email. His name is Leothan. The subject is measure theory. Cool. Hello, professor. First of all, thanks for your videos and your clear and real perspective about the challenges about math, but more important about how to overcome them. In that sense, I was looking for a book recommendation for beginners regarding measure theory. First time taking this course. I'm a math grad student, applied mathematics, currently taking measure theory. And I feel that there are so many assumptions made about a grad students that affect the learning process. For example, even though I have taken analysis and a first course in algebra, I don't consider myself an expert in mathematical logic, the algebra of sets, proof with sets, being able to deduce what was the problem with Riemann integration, and how to set up a strategy to solve it. In this sense, more specifically for, I feel that most of the books I have work with lack the clarity on why and how the ideas behind Lebesgue integration are built. I feel that all what I'm reading is people showing that they know the material. That is not that they are teaching it. <laughs> so I'll keep reading. Now, because so much rely on set theory, it's really difficult to keep track of what is going on and why are the steps being taken. So I'm looking for a real beginner's book to measure theory, and so far I have failed. That is why I'm calling on your wisdom, plus sorcery for help. Thanks, Leo Then. So first, let me say, Leo Then, that I feel your pain. Uh, I, I know... I know how hard it is. I, I took measure theory. It is a very challenging class, uh, to say the least. So my advice uh, is not to get one particular book, because honestly, I don't know of one particular book that is like absolutely incredible when it comes to measure theory. I mean, they're all okay. Um, my advice would be to get as many books as possible. The books by Falland. I think the Falland book is pretty good. The book by Royden is is pretty good. The book by Rudin is is a classic. So Falland, Royden, and Rudin, those are the classics. And there's many more. I have other real analysis books from other authors you've probably never heard of. So my advice would be just get as many books on the subject as you can. And then when you're going over this stuff in your class, like I'm sure you have a lecture. So you have your lecture, you write down your notes. Make sure to go over your notes. And when I say go over your notes, I mean like go over your notes like spend a couple hours right after class whatever it takes going over your notes then if there's stuff you don't understand from your notes go see your professor if they have office hours or go see a ta if you have a ta if not that's okay you're still doing the best you can and that's important i think it's that you do the best you can so surround yourself with tons of books again you can get them super cheap and go over your notes a lot. Then when it comes time for the test, what I used to do in real analysis is I wouldn't just go over my notes because I didn't always understand everything. And I wouldn't always just go over the homework because sometimes I didn't understand all of that either. I would also do problems from other books. So you want to do exercises and example problems from other real analysis books. Again, get as many as you can and do as many problems from different books because that's how you learn, right? That's how you learn analysis. That's how you learn math. It's by doing problems. And you're right. <laughs> you, you made that comment and it made me laugh. It said, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I feel that all what I am reading is people showing what they know, showing that they know the material. That is not that they are teaching. I agree. I agree. Even, even a great book and I, not to knock the book, it's a legendary classic. Even a book such as uh, Principles of Mathematical Analysis by Rudin, Baby Rudin. You know, in the proofs, it'll say, you know, let epsilon be greater than zero, put delta equal to the minimum of, and it's got like some random insaneness and they never tell you how to get that. It's like, yep, I know how to do it. This is the delta and it's magic and it works, but I'm not going to show you how to do it because you got to figure it out. And I think that's the attitude that a lot of the books take, whether it's the right or the wrong attitude, I'm not going to judge. <laughs> I personally think it makes it harder. I think it's better to explain stuff. Um, but just do the best you can, get as many books as you can, and do as many problems from different books as you can. And it helps. It helps. Even I have a personal experience with this. When I took my uh, final exam in, in measure theory, uh, on the final there was a question, 
and I believe I was the only person in the entire class to get it right. I know this because I went to see the teacher for another reason after class, and I was the only person in the class, according to the teacher, to get this question on the final exam right. And because of that, you know, I got a decent grade. I think I got like an A minus. And I think it's because of that that I got an A minus. And the reason I got it right is not because I'm smart. No, it has nothing to do with intelligence. What it has to do with is effort. That problem was a problem from another book that I was reading the night before because I was doing problems from different books. So that's what you get, right? That's why I say get different books. Do problems from different books. And then when it comes to test time, you never know what's going to be on there. In my case, it was a question on the final exam that saved my grade. And I was the only one who got it right only because I had done it the night before. So that's my advice to you for measure theory. Just get as many books as you can and just keep grinding through it. There's no easy solution for it. Measure theory is hard. It's a lot of work. And hopefully someone else has some advice, maybe some better advice than me, and they can leave a comment in the comment section below. So if anyone has any advice for Leo Fan, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.